Hello students, how are you all? Today we will see that how the total energy, total energy means the sum of potential and kinetic energy. And if you do not know what is called potential and kinetic energy, then I will suggest you the link of potential and kinetic energy is there in the description box. You must check that. And uh, if you know what is called potential and kinetic energy, then you will be, you will understand this video. In this video, we will see that we will take a ball and say from a certain height, okay, first we will be holding the ball. Now what is the total energy here? Total energy means its potential energy plus kinetic energy. And when you are leaving the ball, the ball is falling. At this point, its potential plus kinetic mean total. And when it is about to touch the ground, say so this is the ground, it is about to touch the ground. Just before touching the ground, the total energy is same. We will see that at the top when you are holding the ball, its total energy when it is falling that moment its total energy and when it is about to touch the ground its total energy is conserved means their total energies are same we'll show that so let's start so let us consider that this is your hand where you are holding the ball this is the ball you are holding correct so this point is a and from here the ball is falling and here is the position of this ball say so this point is b fine now this ball is falling and this is the ground where it is about to touch the ground see here it has not touched it is just going to touch fine say this point is c now can you tell me what is the velocity of this ball at a when you are holding the ball zero yes here the velocity of the ball is zero let us consider that the velocity of this ball here is v1 and the velocity of this ball is V2. Fine. And this total height is H. Correct. Also let us consider that this height is H1. From A to B is H1. From B to C is H2. Fine. Now, I shall find the total energy at A. Total energy means potential plus kinetic. First, we will find the potential energy here. Then, we will find the kinetic energy here. Then, we will add it. That is total energy. Let us see. At A. What is the potential energy here? We know the formula potential energy is mgh. So, m is the mass of this ball, g is gravity. What is the height? At A, the height is h from the ground. Always we measure the height from the ground. So, what is the height? h. So, mgh. Fine. What is the kinetic energy? We know the formula kinetic energy means half m v square half m v square what is the velocity of that ball at a zero so zero square so what we got half m zero square means zero so what is the total energy potential plus kinetic potential is mgh plus kinetic is zero so what you got mgh plus 0 that is mgh mg 
G H. So we got the total energy at A is M G H. Is M G H. Now we will see what is the total energy at B. Fine. At B. What is the potential energy here? MGH. What is the height from the ground now? This is the ground. What is the height? H2. H2. Correct? Now, from A to B. Now at B, what is the kinetic energy? Half M. What is the velocity of this ball here? Say V1. Half M V1 square. Got it? Now, uh, from the equation of linear motion, we know that V square equal to U square plus 2GH. Yes. V square V square equal to U square plus 2GH. What is V? Final velocity. And remember, we are using this equation from A to B. A to B. So we can write here A to B. What is the final velocity? V1. V1 square. What is the initial velocity? Zero. Here, the initial velocity is zero plus 2gh 2g what is the distance covered by the object from a to b the distance covered by the object is h1 so this is h1 correct so v1 square means 2gh1 understood so instead of v1 square i can write 2gh1 equal to half m 2g h1 2 2 cancelled what is left m g h1 fine now let us see what is the total energy total energy equal to potential plus kinetic potential is m g h2 what is the kinetic m g h1 take common m g what is left? H2 plus H1 equal to Mg. H2 plus H1 is H2 plus H1. A is total, that is H. H. So we saw that the total energy at B is MgH. So total energy at B is MgH. Now we will take out the total energy at C. C is the point where the ball is going to touch the ground. Okay, it has not touched. It is going to touch the ground. So find out the total energy there. At C. What is the total energy at C? Now we will take out the potential energy first. Potential energy equal to MGH. M G H. What is the height of this ball from the ground? As I told you, the ball is about to touch the ground. Just before touching the ground. So what is the height? Almost zero. So we'll take zero. Height zero. So what are we getting? Zero. Got it? Now what is the kinetic energy? Half m. What is the velocity at C? V2. Half M V2 square. Now, again we will use the equation of linear motion. V square equal to U square plus 2GH. V square equal to U square plus 2GH. Okay? And this one we are using from A to C. A to C. Correct? So A to C. Now, just uh, see the figure from A to C. 
which is the final velocity v2 v2 square initial velocity at a 0 plus 2g now what is the distance covered from a to c a to c the distance covered is h h understood equal to 0 square is 0 0 plus 2 gh 2 gh so that is half m v2 square means 2 gh 2 2 cancelled m g h what is the total energy potential plus kinetic what is the potential energy there 0 plus what is the kinetic energy m g h m g h understood so 0 plus mgh is mgh so what is the total energy here is mgh so we have seen that for a freely falling object here is the ball i have considered so when the ball is falling so what is the total energy at starting point and when it is falling the total energy and when it is going to touch the ground the total energy remains same this is known as law of conservation of energy because energy is conserved here got it and one more information when you are holding the ball and when it is falling its kinetic energy will increase gradually but potential energy will decrease you understood when the ball is falling when the ball is falling downwards then its potential energy decreases but kinetic energy increases understood and though potential energy is decreasing but kinetic energy is increasing but the total energy that is potential plus kinetic remains same each and every point of its journey got it thank you